Good morning. It's Wednesday, July 12, 2017, 9 o'clock. We're in the Senator Hearing Room, uh, 555 Court Street Northeast in Salem for our weekly Board of Commissioners meeting. We start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I listened back. It didn't sound that good. I didn't bring my cough drops with me. All right, fine. Well, let's see. We do have our first item is always public comment. We have two people that have signed up to speak. Uh, David Beam will be the first. Actually, one will be under action. So, David, welcome and good morning. Commissioners, we need a, a, a waiver for uh, our, on health care because a lot of disability people on the waiting list in Marion County is not on the waiting list for services. So I was wondering if we can put that in the next budget for next year for the what waiver for all the foster homes on the group homes and the ones on the, on our homeless. Look at that citywide because a lot of them on the waiting list is not getting served a little, little bit better because a lot of them can't get any services because they've got no waiver in the state of Oregon. So now we're thinking if we can look at that for the next legislature for funding All for right. the county and the state on that. What would this waiver do? David. What the, the waiver would do all the services for mental health services for the ones that need it. The ones who can't get it, then can get more a little bit, bit more training, get services like the counseling programs there. Okay. And then we can get more services after five o'clock. There's a lot of them after five o'clock because mental health is shut down. And I like to keep it going 24 hours a, a day on weekends. But it would be serving everybody in the Marion, Marion County for the police departments and the, the fire stations. It would be safer that way. Okay. Any comments? No. Nope. Nope. Thank right. you for coming. Th just, David, thank you for all your work you did at the fair last week, too. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I was wondering if the county commissioner would let me do that full time for the county, be ambassador for Marion County for the, all the commissioners. It would be good for Oregon, really would be good for Marion County. Thank you. I'd like to see that you guys prove that, me and be ambassador for full time okay, for the can, county. We can figure that out. All right. Thank you. Okay. You do. <coughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> next item is our <coughs> consent calendar, rather short. And yes, well, Mr. Chair, <laughs> I will move today's consent calendar under health. Approve amendment number one to the intergovernmental agreement with the Oregon Health Authority to add $193,293.72 for choice model services. Approve amendment number three to the lease agreement with Oregon State Hospital to add $28,800 for the health department to lease the cottage at 2435 Greenway Drive and extend through June 30th, 2019. And under the sheriff's office, approve an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Jefferson for $341,977 to provide enforcement services through June 30th, 2018. I'll second the motion. All right, it's been moved and seconded to approve the consent calendar this morning. Any further discussion? None, so all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. We have one action item. <clears throat> Under Board of Commissioners, we consider approval of an order appointing Roland Herrera and Kim Wallace and reappointing Pete McCallum to the Marion County Public Safety Coordinating Council with terms ending July 31st, 2020. Commissioner Carlson, your name is on it, but... All right, well, Lisa it. is here to introduce it, but I'll just maybe make an introductory comments as they're coming up. Uh, Marion County Public Safety Coordinating Council uh, is required under statute. It's been around since the late 1990s. Uh, the role of the council is to coordinate public safety policy, especially around community corrections. It was actually formed when Oregon uh, developed its community correction system. We have a great group of people that work together and they just met last night. And uh, the statute requires that we have some city representatives uh, 
actually uh, a, a city mayor or councillor and then also a city manager or other city official. So we had a vacancy, I can't remember, over a year ago for the uh, city uh, position and uh, we, John Teague actually applied for that from City of Kaiser and was appointed. And then Rick Lewis, um, mayor of Silverton, former mayor of Silverton, mm -hmm. uh, filled the position for the mayor and elected official position. Well then, as you know, Mayor Lewis, who is still graciously serving on the council when he can come, I think he's gonna be able to come a little bit more now that session is out. Uh, he, he wanted to stay on the council, but he no longer uh, technically fills the role of being a city mayor or official. So we sent out, uh, we being Hitesh Parekh in our office, sent out an email to all of the uh, cities inviting applications for that position. So we had four applicants and the steering committee met and went through the applications and are recommending uh, Roland Herrera, who's here today, thankfully, and uh, from City of Kaiser, and also Mayor Kim Wallace from uh, the uh, City of St. Paul, who will serve, and both were at our meeting last night uh, and are, are anxious to serve. Also, Pete McCallum is in this motion, and Pete has served for many, many years on the council, actually served in the city position as the city councilor from Woodburn. Uh, is now serving as a member at large. We had to switch him over too. <laughs> Our folks, they stay on. They just can't f uh, fulfill technically New these rules. statutory ro roles. So, so uh, I appreciate Roland being here today. And Lisa, I don't know if you have some remarks that you want to make before we uh, ask Roland to say a few words. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for uh, inviting me. And uh, when you mentioned Pete McCallum, he was my uh, teacher in high school. My <laughs> you might know Sam. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I really enjoy uh, helping people in my community. I have a long history of working uh, different, I, I worked in public safety, actually. Public works, very connected with public safety, and uh, uh, I did that for 31 years before I retired, but uh, I enjoy working with people, helping people, and as a counselor, one of my goals has been uh, community engagement, and that means more to me in terms of uh, getting people involved in, uh, in our process. Uh, there are members of the community that are not involved, and, I'm, and my, my job is trying to do that, trying to get people into City Hall uh, and to be part of our process, uh, put them in committees, different people that uh, have never been involved. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I enjoy doing this. I, I, I must say I'm very impressed with your meetings. Uh, you run a pretty good meeting. Uh, I've been to two, and uh, the folks there are all great folks I've worked with before. Uh, as you said, Chief Teague and I have worked many years together on several issues, but uh, we are very fortunate to have him. And he is um, one of my uh, good friends that I go to for many things, and I, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. Uh, but uh, a little bit about myself, I'm just a regular guy, 40 years in Kaiser, uh, four children from 39 to 29, and um, for grandchildren. Uh, I love working uh, in Kaiser. Uh, by the way, I've been mentoring for over 30 years, and that's one of the things that we enjoy doing as part of the process to get young people involved. But uh, I enjoy it, and uh, I'm uh, looking forward to working with your uh, public safety group. So thank you very much. Have if anybody has any One questions, of the things I could add, that. too, is that uh, Faye Fagel, our juvenile director who serves on the steering committee, pointed out uh, Councillor Herrera's active involvement with Little League and youth mm -hmm. programs, and that was a perspective that she was thinking would be important for the council. We have a lot of people on the council that focus a lot on adult crime or adult uh, programs, but we have uh, just really Faye and uh, um, Mike Runyon, sorry, from the Oregon Youth Authority that represent youth serving agencies. To have someone that kind of represents the perspective of community youth organizations too will be a good addition to the council. Yeah, I, well, I do have a lot of background in youth sports. I've worked for many years with youth sports. And I, I gotta brag a little bit. Some of the uh, kids that have lived in my house have gone on to be, I've, there's three uh, currently, and I mentioned this last night, currently on the San Francisco Giants, there's three players that lived, actually lived in my house. <laughs> and and uh, Miguel Vasquez, who just got his first hit Sunday in the majors. Uh, Dan Slania, Notre Dame guy, six foot six, still holds the record for saved in Notre Dame. And uh, Christian Arroyo, who plays third base. Uh, they all started right here in Kaiser, and it's That's lovely fun. watching. I just came from Texas watching another young man, Austin Dirks, which you might know, 
uh, pitch for the Rangers. Uh, so it's kind of fun watching these young kids that we worked with many years ago to uh, be very successful. And so that's pretty, that makes us pretty proud of, of that. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of my bragging point today. <laughs> Question coming? No, just uh, motion. <coughs> oh, no, we could. Okay. I just right. thought maybe you had something else to well, ask for. Well, um, thank you for serving uh, on this group because it's really important for our public safety and all the things that happen to have your representation. And, and over the years for uh, the relationship you've uh, brought to me and in other areas uh, through the community, it's been really valuable. Really appreciate it, Roland. Yeah. Thank you. I just want to make sure Lisa didn't have anything she wanted to say. So. Um, I think you've covered it all. I'm, I'm just here to support. <laughs> right. yeah. so, Mr. Chair, I will move that we approve an order appointing Roland Herrera and Kim Wallace and reappointing Pete McCallum and Marion uh, to the Marion County Public Safety Coordinating Council with terms ending July 31st, 2020. I'll second the motion. All right, moved and seconded to appoint Roland Herrera and Kim Wallace. Any further discussion? Good. All right, then all in favor say aye. 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 I beat you to it. Yeah. The motion passes. Again, thank you, Roland. I hope you enjoy it. I know you'll contribute a lot to that council. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'm work. sure I will learn a lot, and I will do my part to contribute and help in any way I can. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, no other action items, no public hearings. The Last thing to do officially here is to read the places we'll be together in the coming week. We have this afternoon, 3.30 to 4.30, at Community Capital Community Television, CCTV, at their office, Studio 2, 575 Trade Street, where we'll uh, tape another issue, or is that the right words, um, for Marion County Day. I'm forgetting the subject. Commissioner, do you know? The eclipse. The eclipse. Well, we'll talk about that in a bit, perhaps. Uh, tomorrow morning, 7.30 to 8.30, Kaiser Marion County meeting. That's Sherry's Restaurant, 4998 River Road, Kaiser, in Kaiser. Monday, the 17th, 8.30 to 9, calendar review in the Silverton Conference Room, 5th floor, 555 Court Street, Northeast in Salem. That's followed by management update from 9 to 11, Silverton Conference Room. On the 18th, Tuesday, a work session having to do with health department proposal to increase fee for licensed facilities, Silverton Conference Room. And that's followed at 10 o'clock on the 18th with a work session having to do with the solar pilt project, which is um, solar generating, I guess is best I could say. <coughs> so it'd be an interesting one. Then at Tuesday, two o'clock to four, Marion County Housing, Silver and Conference Room. And then a meeting I'm going to talk about in a little bit. <clears throat> the 18th, uh, 6 o'clock to 7, an Eclipse Community Briefing. That'll be in the Kaiser Community Center, 930 Chamawa Road Northeast in Kaiser. Then next Wednesday at 9 o'clock, our next regular board session here in the Senator Hearing Room. And that afternoon, uh, 4 o'clock to 7, North Willamette Research Extension Center, community open house at 15210 Northeast Miley Road in Aurora. So, that's the end of our official meeting, but a couple things. I was going to say, hail, hail, the gang's all here. You missed the county fair. I did. What? I heard it was fabulous. I, you also, con I think, confessed, confided, I don't know the best word, that you watched some of it of the board meeting out well, there. I did. I watched the board meeting and I watched the stuff, the, the uh, things that uh, Commissioner Cameron posted on yeah. Facebook. Uh, so the I dog dummy, a couple of the dog dummy things and the uh, and Dwayne Reno singing with the uh, veterans band, which I was interested in. So. Uh, and I, I, and I, I, I saw your and I saw your flowers. And I also they weren't as good as last year. Well, and I also saw the comments about, "Hey, wait a minute, two years in a row. What's did you see those?" <laughs> no, I didn't. But that's kind of a dynasty, don't you think? So, yeah. So <coughs> I actually, because you know, we were we were questioning what my uh, permanent role was. Uh huh. So I actually um, wanted to make sure this morning before we came down here, it's P C D D. Permanent, Permanent commissioner, commissioner dog, dog dummy. dummy. 
All right. As of August 5th, 2015. Here I've forgotten there's, there's the title a couple of times, but the concept is still I, true. It's in. The concept is I'm the guy that gets in the dog dummy suit. <laughs> then he, did you see that he bonded with Pickles the pig? And, yeah. No, I did not yeah, see well, that. Yeah, Pickles was asking about him later. I, I didn't know what that meant, but it was kind of fun. Uh, and I don't know if you could tell, they didn't have it. He was supposed, Pickles was supposed to come in a little earlier, then we're in the middle of something. I don't even remember the subject. And, and uh, they're kind of herding him around, getting him ready to line up, so brought him in. But I guess in the meantime, he actually nipped Jolene's knee a little bit. And one of the Facebook comments was, ask Pickles if it tastes like chicken. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry. Some things I think are funny. He started to chew on the Marion County skirting. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. On the table. That, yeah, that's oh, where Tamara well, was. Well, we need a better behaved <laughs> example next year. But it was all fun. I think the crowds are great. I'm anxious to hear some some reports on it. Well, I asked Tammy yesterday and uh, if she had any preliminary numbers. I, that's an unfair question because I, I know the answer because I've done those yeah. numbers before. It takes probably well, at least, well, you, have, well you have to get all the reports in from everybody and, and uh, not everybody is really prompt about getting those reports in. But uh, she said from what she's seen, it looks like it's the best fair ever. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah, so uh, all of, you know, anecdotally, parking full, crowds at the uh, concerts and, uh, so if I can tell my I just told this to Lisa this story so did you know they had a new event for me to judge specific I think it's your fault probably who is the bl blueberry yes cheesecake blueberry event. only and it was so fun. <laughs> only a couple entries but the <coughs> stories that happened out of it um, so the first thing I announced was in previous competitions where I've been an expert judge well expert is in quotes but anyway pretty good judge uh, <laughs> They go 25% on appearance, 25% on texture, and 50% on taste. So I just announced, since it's my contest, it's pretty much all 100 taste. 100% on taste, yeah. right? You don't care what, you don't you care what it looks that, like. Because right? yeah. it's all going to get crumbled anyways eventually. So, right. so uh, I thought maybe appearance in a tiebreaker situation. I would, I'm willing, so it's like 1%. Let's be just that little nudge. So that was good, but they were both just excellent. And I, I really needed a little more criteria than taste to decide, but I chose one. And then, um, I don't know her married name, but I know she's a hainer from, from Donald was the winner. And she says, so I actually made two because I wanted you to have one. So I don't know if I got to report this to ethics or whatever, but I didn't. Under $50. It's got to be under $50. It was worth it. Okay, but that isn't the question at this time. So I gladly said thank you. I took it, and I'm leaving from there to go out to the Celets to do some fishing. I saw some friends there. They had just caught a, it's the best fish of the year, spring chinook. And I said, would you like to come for dinner? So, oh, it was wonderful. Fresh, cooked perfectly. And I said, wait a minute, I got something to add. And I, and I brought this over. I said, I just happened to have the first place, <laughs> first place winner for the Marion <laughs> County Fair. Would you enjoy that? <laughs> Boy, what a hit. What a per right at sunset on the Celeste, it was just wonderful. So that was my highlight. It was fun. I see otherwise got to visit with relatives and friends. They're, the Brentanos are getting older and the pigs are still a few. Um, I don't know what else I'd say. It, was, it looked like it was wonderful. Um, our dinner was fun. Mm -hmm. Legislatures was in session, so they, that was... They didn't come, so that was right. a little bit disappointing, but it left plenty to eat, and so, of course, uh -huh. I'm happy. Kevin there were I, quite a few mayors there, so... Yeah. 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 That was yeah. good. But the, it's, those guys didn't make it. Right. Like, I, I thanked, I thanked each one of them for their uh, sacrifice and their service, because... You know, the, that last time when you're just sitting there trying to figure out, you're just, it's a waiting game, you know, waiting for papers to go back and forth and final deals to be cut or whatever. And it, it's miserable if you're just, just sitting not, if, you're, if you're not in the middle of it, you know. Right. So. Um, yeah, I, uh, one of them commented how long of a session it had been, and I sent back a comment saying, um, really how, about August, how about August 2nd at <laughs> 5 a.m. in the morning? That's a yeah. long session. Yeah. Oh. That was my first session. I right. Go, what is this all about? Yeah, mine was four in 2001, and I'm pretty sure. Cause it, August 4th? It, no, it was four in the morning. Because yeah. we watched the signy die tape, and I could, you know, I was, and I was driving home, and the sun had already come up, yeah. and I was 
thinking this is really not safe <laughs> for me to be up all night and driving home like this. Fortunately, there was yeah, really nobody on the road on 12th Street, uh -huh. but I was feeling really bleary-eyed when, when I drove home. Now you've driven across half the country. Any, any yeah, highlights? that was largest yarn mall or anything? Did you get to see? <laughs> well, we drove from here to uh, Dallas, Texas, in a Penske truck. I probably shouldn't say the name of the truck, but it's you have to get the vision of this bright yellow truck. And uh, we went through Idaho and Utah, and uh, we actually went through Shiprock, New Mexico, where my husband now you spent have a his son first and two and a half years. Just swing by. We did not. What? We, we couldn't. When you're that close? Because we figured Brock wouldn't understand if I just came and left immediately the next day. So uh, I was really unhappy, but we couldn't right. do that. So, yeah, it was sad. Very sad. They didn't <laughs> seem to be as sad as I was, oh. but I was really devastated when I was going through there. So. I, and I said to my husband as we were driving through, I said, you know, if I were behind the wheel right now, we'd be taking a sharp left turn <laughs> and heading up there anyway. But we all agreed it was the best thing. All right. But anyway, yeah, this, so then we uh, went, stayed in Amarillo. We saw the largest uh, oh, here we go. This wind is farm. Oh, yeah, you got to like that. Well, it was funny because we pulled into, you know, we pulled out of Amarillo and we're heading on the highway towards Dallas. And... Uh, D points out that there's this wind farm, and I make some wisecrack about you know the amount of electricity that it's generating, which is you know I shouldn't That's editorialize fine. here. And I swear this thing went on for an hour. Oh, it really did. Yeah, I mean there was kind of a haze, and you kept coming, and another one would appear, and another one, and another one, and it just kept going. So I thought, all right, well that probably would make some significant electricity. I take it back, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, everything's big in Texas and that was the biggest wind farm I have ever seen. You know, or you go along the gorge and you see them, you know, for a while, but they start and it stops, you know, but this just kept going miles and miles and miles. We've kind of talked about this. You've been, I've seen the gorges, you've mentioned those, you know, that's all that federal scenic area and you they tell you what color your house can be and all this kind of stuff and yet they can put those signs yeah. up on every cliff are you kidding yeah i'm sorry it doesn't please me yeah um but anyway then i had a chance to visit with family for a week so that was great all good. three grandchildren son took the week off so we were able to visit with him more than we were expecting we thought we were just going to be able to visit with him on the weekend and over the fourth of july holiday but he got the other days in between off and our daughter-in-law, Jessica, and we got to see Taekwondo practice and soccer practice and learn the lyrics to the Moana song and <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of fun things. Right, yeah, that sounds special. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe for the record, are you going to be up at Detroit Saturday yeah. morning or not? No. For that dilemma. Okay, because I may swing in there. That'd be great if you did. I'll be there. It's a quarterly meeting, and I was given instructions to... Um, Ladies weekend, Bunko weekend at my place. Oh. If, if before uh, work, what? I, yeah, I was given instructions. I was thinking about going up um, Friday and then going to the meeting and heading home. Okay. But I think it's better. I'll if try I just to be there. Stay home. All right. Anything else this morning? Nope. Last opportunity. Then let's call this meeting adjourned.